there's a sounding board. Sorry about the mess, but things are changing right now. But tonight, because I haven't done an update in a while, we're going to talk about the new Mattel WWE Superstar figure line. This one's The Undertaker. I happen to get lucky to get a hold of one of him. E Series 3. I don't know who was in Series 1 or 2, but this series seems to be thematically kind of Halloween other than uh, um, Ted DiBiase. Because you got Mankind, you have got Papa Shango, and then you got Classic Undertaker. You know, since we're getting close to Halloween, this is the Undertaker you want. And he's done in, which is funny for Mattel, he's, he's in, done in nostalgia packaging for, in honor of the Remco toy line, which produced all the AEWE figures for uh, the 80s. And they had this kind of look like this. Um, the front of this kind of has the LJN look. And the back has the classic uh, Remco look. But let's open the Undertaker up and take a look and see what kind of figure they have given us from Mattel. He's a lot smaller than your Elites or your uh, low-grade WWE figures. And this one has cloth outfit, as where other versions of the Undertaker have a plastic base jacket. So let's see. I think he's on a He Man. multiple hands so he has a hand pack two fists and two uh, different variations of pose hands they're in the Master Universe Origins uh, packaging Undertaker's hat keep trying to get him out of this package because they haven't fish wired in. One of the worst things you can do to a little kid fish wire in his action figure. So there's what he looks like. And where is his hat? Someplace where I can't reach. Here's his hat. So he has a cloth jacket. quality material it's not really meant for taking on and off that much he's on the modern master of the universe origins body same point for articulation of a master's except for he doesn't have the joint right here like they used to have they have uh, but he has it right here like the masters so 
So I wonder if they're gonna do a future pack of weapon stuff. So you can have him pose with his hat. Oh wow, he even has his uh, classic open hands. So he can sit there and do do that and he has his hand the palm open like this a left and a right hand now you need a two pack with since you have this version of undertaker for a uh, pallbearer but now he man now has to fight the greatest enemy ever Classic Undertaker, the dead man. It would have been cool if you had an interchangeable head, since you have this classic look, but then you can have one with the eyes rolled up into his head and his dead, dead man look. You know, at the end of every match, you go with his hands. Um... What's the other set of hands he has? Two closed fists. So he has two closed fists, two open palm hands, and two hands he can hold uh, wrestling gear. But yeah, I kind of like the way this figure is. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad I got him. I can put him with my He-Man figures, and I can have him fight NWO undead Randy Savage, leader of the horde, which would be kind of cool. Since basically I didn't find too many of the WWE figures in the wrestling line of Masters of uh, the WWE Universe that were really entertaining. I missed out on the original run because I really wanted to get John Cena to it. But what do you think? Is he kind of a cool figure? Because he's got a jacket. He's got his removable little tarp. And four extra set of hands. So I wonder if they all come with extra hands. Ric Flair has his robe, I've seen. And Honky Tonk has guitar as well as uh, a full bodysuit that's removable from him. So until next time, this is the Sounding Board, signing off.